Hi, this is Mark Besser of Besser Healthcare. In this video, I will discuss what is a well woman's exam, what are pap smears and why they are done, which sexually transmitted diseases or SDDs are tested for during a pap smear and well woman's exam, and finally, our recommendation on how and where you can get tested. Either you want to know for sure if you are STD free, or if you think you have an STD with fast, affordable, and 100% discreet or confidential testing. Going to the doctor or ob guy for an annual exam can be stressful and uncomfortable enough without having to the confusion of what all is going on to the appointment. I walk you through what typically occurs at a well woman's exam and pap smear so that you know what to expect and which STD tests to ask your doctor for if they aren't done automatically. What is a well woman's exam? A well woman's exam is an exam that consists of multiple parts to help the doctor get a general look at a woman's overall reproductive health. Well woman's exams are performed annually on women 18 years or older, whether or not they are sexually active or women younger than 18 if they are sexually active. Typically, the patient's weight and blood pressure are taken. The doctor or nurse asks questions regarding the patient's health habits like smoking, drug use, alcohol intake, caffeine intake, as well as sexual habits, which include the use of birth control and protection, how many partners they have had since their last visit, if they have had any STD testing done since their last visit or after their most recent partner, etc. Family medical history is discussed, as well as current medications. You may also be asked about certain immunizations, like the HPV vaccines, during your visit. During a well woman's exam, the medical professional will perform a breast exam and a pelvic exam. If you are over 21 years old, they will likely also conduct a pap smear, also called a pap test to check for cervical cancer. After these exams, your doctor or nurse practitioner will likely discuss whether you are interested in birth control and is available to answer any questions you may have regarding contraception and sexual health. Breast Exams The doctor or nurse will check for breast cancer or abnormalities of the breast by visually examining them and palpating or gently feeling by pressing against each breast and the area near the armpits. The axillary region or the armpit area is palpated because there could be masses or swollen or enlarged lymph nodes there that indicate a problem. The doctor or nurse will suggest that the patient perform self-examinations of her breast monthly to ensure that there are no lumps or atypical changes. Mammograms are x-rays of the breasts. Mammograms are typically performed on women 40 and older and are done to screen for malignancies before they are large enough to be felt. Mammograms may be performed on women younger than 40 if cancer is prevalent in their family or to confirm whether or not masses detected via palpation are possibly malignant. Pelvic exams Pelvic exams consist of three parts. A visual examination of the pelvic area is conducted, during which the doctor or nurse inspects the outer or external genitalia, which are the mons pubis, vulva, which is consisting of the labia majora and labia minora and the clitoral hood while the woman is laying back with her feet in footholds called stirrups. The doctor or nurse practitioner looks for abnormalities like discoloration, ulcers, genital warts, lesions, etc. A bimanual exam is an exam performed using both hands to feel structural abnormalities of reproductive organs that cannot be seen visually. This exam involves palpating the cervix and uterus. One hand is placed externally on the pubis. The index and middle fingers of the other hand are inserted into the vagina to feel for placement, size, and positioning of the uterus, as well as to feel for any abnormal masses. A speculum exam is an exam performed using a speculum to get a visual of the vaginal canal. A speculum is a device that is used to keep the vagina open for inspection. This allows the doctor to observe the cervix letting them see whether there are any abnormalities like warts, sores, or discharge that are abnormal in color or texture. During a speculum examination, a pap smear is often performed to test for cervical cancer. Pap smears, what they are and why they are done. A pap smear is a test done starting at age 21 in which small samples of tissue are scraped from the cervix, from near the cervix, and from approximately a centimeter inside the cervix and are sent off to a lab for testing. Abnormalities like precancerous or cancerous cells are looked for during a pap test. Pap smears are not painful tests, although some women find that they feel pressure and slight discomfort. 
Light bleeding may occur following a pap smear and is considered normal. HPV and pap smears. There are hundreds of strains of the human papillomavirus or HPV, a sexually transmitted infection. Some strains of HPV are known to cause cervical cancer or oropharyngeal cancer. Some strains of HPV can cause genital warts. Many strains cause no apparent signs or symptoms at all and are cleared by the immune system after two or three years. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, estimate that there are 14 million new HPV cases each year in the United States. If pap test results are normal and cancerous cells are not found, women do not need to have another pap smear done for three years unless their doctor discovers abnormalities during a well woman's exam that would warrant a pap test done sooner. If precancerous or abnormal cells are found, they can be frozen off via a method called cryotherapy. If cancer is discovered, doctors can remove or destroy the affected part of the cervix. Cervical cancer can be fatal if not discovered and treated early. However, if it is caught in time, it can be treated and cured before it progresses and spreads. Wearing condoms can prevent both women and men from contracting HPV. There are also vaccines and immunization series available for men and women to prevent contracting certain cancer-causing strains of HPV, which STDs are tested for during a well woman's exam. Aside from HPV being tested for if abnormal cells were seen and a pap smear was conducted, other sexually transmitted infections or diseases can be tested during your visit to the ob gyne Typically, STD tests are not conducted unless specifically asked for. There are different tests for different STDs, so to get tested for multiple STDs, you will have to provide a blood and urine sample. Sometimes signs and symptoms of STDs are obvious, and your doctor will test you for specific STDs based on signs they see. For example, trichomoniasis is often accompanied by foul smelling, yellow or green discharge, and genital herpes outbreaks are characterized by lesions or sores on or near the genitals. That being said, most cases of STDs are asymptomatic, meaning no signs or symptoms are present. If you want to have an HIV test done at your well woman's exam, ask for it. Ask for all the STD tests you wish to have done to be completed. If you haven't been tested in the past, it is important to get tested for as many common STDs as you can. Your doctor will be able to test you for HIV, hepatitis B and C, gonorrhea, trichomoniasis, chlamydia, syphilis, and herpes type 1 and type 2 if you ask. They should also be able to test you for hepatitis if you request it. Other significant reasons to get tested for multiple STDs include if you have a new partner, if you have had multiple partners, if your partner has been with other partners and has not been tested or is not monogamous, if you and your partner have unprotected sex, if you suspect you have an STD, if you suspect your partner has an STD. It is important to get tested for STDs so that you are aware of your current sexual health. Getting tested is the first step to getting treatment for possible bacterial or viral infections that you may not have realized you have as helping to stop the spread of STDs. And now, on to our recommended STD screening company. Click the website link listed in the description below this video to see the list of their test centers in your area with the discount coupon. Or go to bessercare.com slash STD check. Our recommended STD screening company makes getting tested for STDs a simple and convenient process in just three steps. Step one, order their STD 10 test panel or individual tests online or by phone. Step two, choose one of their 4,500 test centers nationwide. Testing only takes minutes. Step three, your test results are delivered in your online account within one to two days. The entire process is fast, affordable, and 100% discreet or confidential. Remember, either you want to know for sure if you are STD free, or if you think you have an STD, you need to get tested as soon as possible. Don't delay. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video or find value from it, please click the like button and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Or if you have further questions or want to share something with us in private, please feel free to reach out to us at marketbesserhealthcare.com. And if you want us to include a certain topic in our next videos, please let us know in the comments section below.
or email us. Also, subscribe to our channel and click that bell for you to be notified of our upcoming videos. See you again in our next videos. Stay safe and healthy, everyone.